Hello everyone, it's Nathan here at Nathan Studio. So today I'd like to show you how to improve the quality of the line weights in your drawing, especially for floor plans. And guaranteed, you should be able to make yourself professional looking drawings by the end of this video. So now let's get started with the basics. So this is the look that I do have currently and here's how I did achieve it. You want to go to document, graphic overrides and get graphic override combination. So these are rules which I did set that are creating the look that you are seeing here in the floor plan. Let's get rid of everything such that we start from scratch. I will say no overrides. I say okay. And this is where you should be when your working drawings are really complete. So first thing to note is that you can actually change the quality of line weight for each element. If I select this wall and I go to settings by control T here in floor plan and section, you can always dictate what the pen weight is going to be for the cut elements and for the uncut elements as well. So that's the first area that you can start from if you want to adjust what those things are going to look like. But doing that manually is going to take a, a bit more time because then you have to select everything and affect them differently. But now we can set some rules if we go to where we did say document, graphic overrides, graphic override combinations, and we create our own combination. So let's click here on new and create one. So let's make it element best. It's not actually layer based. It's going to be element best. You will see in a while why. So now we say, okay. And now we have a combination which has nothing yet. So now we need to add some rules to it. So let's add a rule, for example, a new rule and I like to keep to start from the very baseline. So let's create a base line, whatever you want to call it. And I say, okay. And in that rule, we want to edit and make everything grayed out. So let's say, oh, go into here, the settings, or you can just go edit rules such that you are able to see these things. You can see by default, we have element type is all types. This is important such that you are going to affect everything that you have in your in your design. So now let's put in a line away. Let's override all those lines and make them grayed out. We are going to make them like a 0.13 if you're using the architectural pen and the field foreground as well and the field background pen as well. Let's make these grayed out. And for the background field, you want to choose the background or a white or something like that. So this is what we want. To, and I don't think we need to change a field type because we want every element to keep its field type. The columns to have their own field type as well as the walls to have their own field types as opposed to having all of them with one field type. Okay, let's say okay and say okay. So now we have ourselves a pretty good baseline where everything is kind of grayed out and laid back. So now we want to begin by bringing out those walls so we can see them. So let's go back and actually in order to get those things a little faster, let's just take these things apart a little bit. I'm going to get all these I don't need this renovation filter thing. Let's put that. So now you can see that this status bar has expanded and we have graphic override here. If I click onto this icon, we can go to the graf graphic override combinations or like we did say before, it was document, graphic override, graphic override combinations, and it's the same thing. So after that baseline, we want to add a new rule. So let's create a new rule for the, all the cut elements, which is going to be cut elements, which are going to be the walls and columns. Say OK, and let's let's affect them. Let's go edit rules. And in order to affect them, we want to select them. So here in element type, we want to go and select a wall and say we want to affect those walls. And we want to add another element type by clicking here and clicking here on the main. We have element type and select columns. And we're selecting these because I know that those are the things, the major 
things that I'm cutting through on the floor plan. So we have the wall and the columns. If you had any other element, you would add it there. If you had like beams and what, and they are being cut on the floor plan, you can add them as well. And then we affect what line type that is. So now it's around this pen. So let's choose something like this. 0.35 and let's also affect its foreground and background of course the background is going to be uh, white or the background pen and we want to use a light pen perhaps a 0.18 or something so let's say okay and see what that looks like well nothing happens and nothing happens because if we go back here in the graphic override settings we will want to move this above the override here such that it's fast before the baseline so when we say okay now we have something going on it's not yet what we want but it's something now you can see the difference between this line weight and that line weight and that's where we want to start from so in order to see what it's going to be look like when you do print you want to change the percentage from this to 100 percent so that's what the printed version is going to be so that may not be clear enough so you want to increase the pen weight so now we want to look at another thing which is the pen weight so where do we find pen weights it's in option element attributes and we go to pen and color so when we come here in pen and color Remember, we did choose this one right here, which is the 0.35, and we want to increase it. So, and to be a little bit more dr drastic, such that you guys can see it, you can always choose the weight that you want. So, I'm going to make it 0.7, such that it's strong enough. So, now when I say OK, you can see that instantly we have that. We have a difference here. We have a huge contrast from the base layer and the cut elements layer and that contrast is very important because then it gives depth into your drawings but this is not enough because we need the in-betweens because now we have created those two but we need the in-betweens and how do we create them we go back to graphic override combinations which we can go here with a shortcut so now let's add a new rule and this new rule is going to be for what for openings because the next thing which is going to be having a thicker line is for the openings windows and doors and we say okay and now we have created them so now let's say edit the rule so what's in the rule we have to select all those windows and add more elements so under main here we select another element type and put in the doors and what are we going to change about those? It's just the line weight, which is going to be the line there and change that to something which is thinner than the 0.7, which is going to be here. We have it 0.25 of sorts and say, OK. And when I say OK and say OK again, nothing happens. And that's because you remember we have to move it above the baseline so you can move it all the way to the top here and we say okay and now we have openings here there's a difference between this line weight and that line weight that's pretty exciting huh amazing so the next is going to be the furniture and the railings that we need to pop out and in order to do that we just need to create a new one so let's say add scroll down here and create a new rule and this is going to be for furniture and rail and whatever that you want to add so now we move it all the way up such that it can affect the things as long as it is above the baseline and we go to edit that rule and make sure that those types are selected which is going to be the object and we add another element type which is going to be the railing and what else what else we can always come and add it in in case we did forget it now we get we get the line itself and go here and put in i have a point two zero here so i'm, I'm going to use that for now this is why it is important to set this in the pens uh, pens and color so let's say okay and say okay and you can see that they immediately pop out and they are graduated from that we go to that and that's pretty exciting isn't it 
because then we have layers going on here but of course we want the letters as well to come to pop out and we just want to create a one more rule for those so under our rule here element paste we want to add a new rule which we scroll down here and create a new rule which is going to be for all the 2d types so 2d types that's for the markers and things like that and the dimensions and the text such that they they do stand out we go to the edit type and now we, we add those things in There you are so these i need them to be a thinner pen but black so if you go to here online we can make them a thinner plate the black like this one this one is 0.1 millimeter thick but it's still black so we want to do that we say okay and we say okay and that hasn't worked like we said before it's because it's under the baseline so as long as you put it above the baseline you should be fine and that's awesome isn't it so the more the layers that you add the more the depth that you get but then they are caveats of using this thing because now for example if we wanted to do it in elevations it's not going to work if we did open an elevation let's open this elevation just for demonstration purposes open with current view settings that is not an elevation you want <laughs> that would be a video for another time but i think this is really perfect for floor plans so what if what if we had shorter walls because then because now if we picked a wall but i'm going to alt click to pick that wall and i'm going to make it a short wall which you can do by going to the settings i'm going to make it not linked and make it like one meter and perhaps this was a gauge thing never mind we can't have the boundary wall in this kind of drawing but you can see that this has the same line weight as that and that's not really true because then it wouldn't make sense to have a short wall the same line weight as that one well there is a way you can do that you can create also affect the line weight using layers for example if we create a new layer so we can go, go to layers by going to document layers and we go here in layers and let's get create a new layer so let's make it like our short walls and we say okay so now we have created a short wall and let's make it show in this layer combination which is the plans approval we say okay and select these walls and put them on that very layer which is the short walls just for demonstration so now we have these walls on the short walls layer so we can give these a different line weight if we go to our here element based thing and we add a new a new layer for our short wall we say okay and now we move this up remember we have to move this above the override that is overriding all the walls so we put it above this cut cut element wall and edit that and make sure that we have walls selected but now we need to add a new criteria which is going to be here go into add and under mode view we pick layer and now we, we pick our short wall layer and now we can put a new line weight for it so like 0.35 now you can see that this goes all the way down but you get the idea so that's it for this video so i hope you did find it useful if you did give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye